Hi, this is Livia with Live Cares Cooking. And Stephen with Healthy Fit Club behind the camera. Ever since I can remember, I was in the kitchen cooking with my grandmother, and I just absolutely created this wonderful passion for cooking. As I got older, I realized that it was really important to eat healthy. So I'm going to have a little fun with you today because we're going to make a pizza crust, probably something that you say, oh, well, how do you pizza crust has flour and yeast and all? No. This is unique. It's cauliflower rice pizza crust. And this is monumentally important because my two weaknesses for carb foods are ice cream, which we've solved, which you'll hear about soon, <laughs> and pizza. Right. So this pizza will have very, very low carb because the crust is made from... Cauliflower rice. That's now right. What you say, what is cauliflower rice? Well, it's nothing more than cauliflower chopped up to look like rice. Now. Most recently, they've created this in the grocery, so you don't have to do it yourself. So it's already pre-riced pre for you, which makes it so much easier. This is so simple. It's riced. That's a good one. And then we have some fresh mozzarella cheese, which I have shredded. And that comes from grass-fed cows. This is no ordinary That's right. cheese. And then we have some organic onion, which I've already pre-chopped. So what we're going to do is we have to saute the cauliflower rice before we can mix all the ingredients together in order to make the pizza crust. In addition to this, we're going to add some egg. And egg is what binds it together. And what kind of egg are we using? Olivia? We're using only organic pastured eggs. Pastured eggs. That's correct. Okay. okay. So what I have done here is I've gotten this started a little bit on, this, on the stove here. I've taken some brain octane oil. Now, brain octane oil is an extract of coconut oil, which is an MCT, medium chain triglyceride. The brain octane is a brand that only uses the C8 part of the chain, which stands for caprylic acid. It's not, I don't want to get all scientific on you, but that's the healthiest part of the medium chain triglyceride, which is normally 8, 10, and 12. This is just the 8. It's really healthy. feeds your brain. Really, really good for you. And so Livia is using that. Right. Most people will say, oh, I'm going to use olive oil. And you know, growing up as a kid, we used olive oil, but come to find out that olive oil cannot be heated at high, high temperatures. So we use the brain octane. You can also use avocado oil, which is, is also an oil that can be heated at a very high temperature. Mm -hmm. So we've heated up some of the brain octane. We're going to take the cauliflower rice, and we're going to, well, first we're going to take the onions. First we'll we take the onions. Put eat. the onions in, in, into the pan. And just saute them up a little bit. Just for just giving the cauliflower some flavor. Hey, Livia, what temperature do you have that dial on there over there? I have it on medium. Sweet, okay. okay. Good to know. So it doesn't take much to, to kind of cook onions up, to have them almost clear. Okay, so I'm just mixing that up. Then I'm going to put the cauliflower rice in here. And you can add any kind of seasoning that you want in, into this. Let's put some sea salt on there. I'm going to put some sea salt, absolutely. And I'm also going to use butter. Because grass fed butter. Fed. Everything's better with butter. Grass fed butter. And then we have some um, organic sprinkle brogs which has a bunch of different herbs in it, which would be great for the flavor of the pizza crust. That's right. So we're going to add this into the cauliflower rice while it's sauteing so right. we get those flavors. Livia's European. In America, we call it Bragg's. So look for the Bragg's <laughs> What did I organic say? I Bragg's. said Bragg's. No, you said we're going to use the Bragg's seasonings <laughs> with our pizza well, crust. Well, that's probably the Queen's English, which is proper. <laughs> right. Okay. She doesn't live here. Okay, sauteing it up over there. We're going to be sauteing this up. And what I'm going to, whoops, oh well, you know, there's always spillage. I'm going to, um, I like to cook it for a little while because I like to get it a little brown. Okay. So it's going to be a few minutes. I'm going to add some butter. Butter. To the, uh, some grass fed butter to the, um, Show the, little doll, you can show the little doll for butter? A couple of know? tablespoons. Perfect. Yeah, that's Turn about around. a couple of tablespoons. I'm going to zoom in. So and I'm going to mix that up. Check that out. And let the cauliflower rice cook down. Yes. Because it's raw. The that's cauliflower right. rice comes raw. 
you can either get it fresh or frozen. I buy the frozen because sometimes if you buy it fresh it, and you don't use it right away, it goes bad rather quickly. So buying it frozen, you can keep it in the freezer and when you want to use it, you just pull it out and voila. Because sometimes you'll want pizza and it's last minute. That's right. And, we, and you got that organic cauliflower in a, in a frozen at Trader Joe's. So I did. it's available, I available just about that. everywhere. Uh, I but we'll, take, we'll take your word for it. It's I okay. threw the package That's okay. And, and it's like $2. I mean... Like, come on! <laughs> so inexpensive. I'm all about being economical. Okay. I, and, and, you know, being one person, sure, it's easy to cook healthy for one because financially it's easier. But... You can find all kinds of great uh, deals if you shop. Kind of like looking for liver. We have a great video, by the way, which you'll see on grass-fed beef liver, caramelized onions, uncured nitrate-free bacon, um, and some other stuff. And that was $5 a pound at Whole Foods. Incredible. Okay, so Stephen, we're going to just let this cook on the stove for right. about... 10 minutes, and then once it's uh, finished, then we'll be ready to compile the uh, the rest of the ingredients to make the crust. Right on. Okay, so our cauliflower rice has been sautéed with the butter and the herbs and the onion, and just was letting it cool down a little bit, because if you put egg in there, it'll cook because it's hot. That's right. So it's pretty simple. We sautéed the cauliflower rice. We have the fresh mozzarella. Grass-fed. Grass-fed. And we have two organic pasteurized... Pastured. pastured not pastured. Past they are not pasteurized. pasteurized. They are pastured. <laughs> pastured eggs that I've beaten. She beat the... And that's it. So, we're going to mix the cheese in cheese. with the cauliflower rice. There it goes. And, you know, I eyeball everything. As you know, being Italian, that's the way I do things. So I'm just going to use all of this cheese because it'll be nice and cheesy. So mixing that together. And then the egg is basically for binding. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit in at a time. I'm not going to use all of it because I want to see the consistency. Because I want to be able to, if you can see, hold this together to make the crust. So if there's too much egg, then it won't set. It'll run, and I don't want that to happen. So I'm mixing this up. We use the fresh mozzarella. It can be a little wetter. So that's your base for your cauliflower rice pizza crust. Looks like pizza dough, doesn't it? Yep. Okay, so now I've already preheated this wonderful Pampered Chef pizza stone, so it's hot. And I'm going to take my hands and make a ball with the cauliflower rice. And I might not get all of it, but that's okay. Stephen can eat what's ever left over. And I'm going to place it on the stone, and then I'm going to kind of flatten it like this. Can you see, Stephen, what I'm doing? So look, I'm making it into a round. Oh, you know what? I can do this. Here. I'm making it into a round disc, like you would. Pizza crust. Perfect. Okay. Now, Stephen, I have to take a second and wash my hands so I can then transfer this into the oven. I'll allow it. Okay. And I'm, this pan's a little hot, so I'm being really careful, but I want to try to. Good idea. Um, you don't want to burn yourself? No, I don't want to burn myself. Okay, good idea. <laughs> so, see? Can you see that? Look yep. at that. Is that fabulous? It's fabulous. Or what? Okay, I'm going to wash my hands. Okay, quickly. we'll film that. You ready? Wash my There's hands. Olivia washing her hands. Washing my hands quickly. Oh, I wash my hands so many times a day. Yeah, that's part of the recipe. Yes, <laughs> wash your hands. Wash your hands. 
Okay. okay. Pan back over to you. And the I'm going to soup. dry my hands. Yes, naturally. Right. Yes. Now I'm going to use these mitts. It's like an oven mitt. Yeah. Wow. How about that? That's hot. So I'm going to open up the oven. Yeah, disclaimer. Don't pick up the hot, a hot pizza stove. And I'm going to take this out. Barehanded. <clears throat> this pizza stone has wonderful handles. And we're going to put this right into the middle of the rack. Now, the note, note, Livia, you preheated the oven first, then you yes. put the pizza stone in it for a little while. Right. Heated that heat up. It. Right. Put out, you left the oven on, right? That's and so right. we're putting the pizza stone with the cauliflower pizza crust yes. in the oven. And how long do we leave it in there? Approximately? 15, 20 minutes. 15, 20 minutes at what temperature? 350? 350. 350. You can heat it, you can cook it at hotter temperature, but I try to tend, tend to cook things at a lower temperature. Good idea. It's healthier. That's correct. So, 350 but, is kind of on the high end, but. 350. So we could probably go a little lower and a little bit longer. Right, but it would take a little longer, yeah. Right, we're just under the gun. So you could go, so you would maybe go to 325 for sure. 12 minutes, 14 sure. minutes. So once the pizza crust is complete, then you're ready to make your pizza. Okay, now we're not going to go that far here, right? No, so just give some to give tips people on, some yeah, ideas. Yeah, ideas. We'll, okay, we'll so now you have a pizza crust. Yes. What do you like on your pizza? Some people like pesto with cheese. Some like red sauce with cheese. Some like onions. Some like olives. Um, you know, if you try to keep it healthy, spinach, peppers, uh, things of those nature. Now, since you already have cheese in the crust, will you taste that cheese? You don't really need it. You can do a cheeseless pizza, maybe? You can, some, some but I oil. like cheese, too, so, so I will always add cheese And it won't be, on like, top. too cheesy. Okay, so you just do more it's mozzarella cheese. It's not overpowering, by no So you need a little light mozzarella and then add your stuff. And then, right. then you're going to put it back into the oven for, what, another 12 minutes? However please? long you just, just melt, to, yeah, you to, to kind of cook the ingredients together and melt it. Now... I will tell you, I made one last week that was just absolutely fabulous. I made homemade bruschetta and homemade pesto, uh -huh. which maybe in another video we'll show that to you another time. Sweet. And then I put the pesto, the bruschetta, and I used almond cheese as opposed to mozzarella cheese because it's non-dairy. Sure. And that was absolutely delicious. But we got a wrap here. They, that goes 10, 12 minutes. You check it accordingly. Right. What is it gonna, what's the consistency to look for when that, when that crust is done? Well, it'll brown a little bit because basically the egg has to cook, and that's what binds it together. Okay, but it's so not the gonna, egg is the key ingredient. But it's going to go second and way cooked because you're going to put it back into the oven with all the other yeah, stuff. Yeah, but it, it doesn't matter because it's not in there that long. I okay. happen to like mine on the brown or crispier side. Okay. So that's it. We're it's good. easier to handle. So you have that, and again, we have Healthy Fit Club's all about. Wow. <laughs> Optimal health and peak performance. Livia did. She I know. Really, so really. Bad. You have no idea how much Optimal brain energy. Optimal health and it, peak performance. You have no idea all the brain energy went into cooking that pizza, <laughs> that, that cauliflower pizza crust, and she's just done. We hit the wall just in time because you put it in the oven, and we're done. Good job. <laughs> all set. Steven signing off, Healthy Fit Club. Optimal health, peak performance. Till next time.